Yeah, I'm following you. Okay. So now I'm so going to take on somebody. You're not following me or you are? I am. Okay. So as so, soon as the game starts, I'm, I'm there. Guys, let's get 5-3. Give me your usernames. Um, give me your usernames. Uh, five minutes with three second increments. So we have a chance here with, with John's brain and my hand. All right, 5-5 five, five will do. We got a, uh, a premium member right here. Or we got a 5-3 member right there. So I just accepted. Who do we got here? John, I am black. You got the right. game, Red Menace 101. Uh, night. Night. Hey, I know what night you want. Hey, I know what you want. Pawn. Pawn. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to head to my Nimzo. Bishop. Yeah, boys. Can I just All right, say now we're going to show my lack of like, yeah, Nimzo. Now. This is when it's going to get fun. Okay. Uh, King. Okay. First of all, right now, give yourself a big pat on the back. Write yourself an equation behind you. Treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Bishop. Bishop. I love it. But you notice how I just said write yourself an equation and treat yourself? That was hilarious. Uh, let's see. Pawn. Um, I love it. I love your instincts. I love your uh, enthusiasm. We're playing, we're playing relatively quickly here. I mean, we're not down too much on time. Ooh, interesting. Good. Okay. Uh, pawn. Okay, there are multiple pawn moves here actually that work. Um, I guess I'm gonna go with the the straightforward. Okay. Uh, knight. Loving it. Uh. This is so. This is weird for me now. Like not just making a move. Yeah. Um, You're doing great. You're doing pawn. great. What do you What do you say? Pawn. Pawn. Okay. Uh, we'll go here. I know, baby girl loves that end game. Queen. I know, baby girl loves that end game. Look and at that. Pawn. When did I start calling you baby girl, by the way? Was that a thing that just happened? <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, okay. Yeah. All right, pawn. I'm interested. This is going to be interesting. Bishop. Bishop. All right. I'm going for it. All right. Could be a little tricky, depending on what they play. Ooh, okay. That is a little tricky. Okay. Uh, let's see. You got this. Night. Dude, great move. I knew you saw that. We're coming after that C4 pawn. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah. Uh, Bishop. Can I just say that Red Menace looks like an adorable chess player with red hair? He really does. He, look at him. That's a picture from a tournament. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, Rook. If I was any more proud of you right now, it'd be coming through the screen. Uh, let's see. Whew. Decisions, decisions. Yeah. Yeah, I got to He's playing a lot faster than us. Yeah, he's, and he's playing well, but I think we're better if we just continue to execute yeah. our plan. Uh, Rook. Yes, I want it. I want it. Can we hear it? I want it. <laughs> I think my my favorite move in the dance floor was the rake. The rake. And then if I win a poker game, I'm on the take. I'm on the take. <laughs> and then I and then I can shake and bake. Shake and bake. All right. Uh, Your move. Ooh, no, let's not do that. Uh, Use the force. Yeah. Let's say... Let's say Rook. That's called discipline. That's what that is. That's why you're an offensive lineman. Or a former. <laughs> former, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, knight. Okay. I really wanted that tactic to work, but if I can't take because he'll take with the rook first. Darn it! Okay. We're still Let's better. See. Still better. Let's do pawn. Let's see how much we're like channeling each other right now. I thought that yes. was good. Is that what you wanted? Maybe F5, though, was also good and like grip the Gosh. light squares because then we have knight H4 coming. I'm not sure I played the best move, but okay. I think we're doing all right. Oh, uh, okay. That's what I had in mind. All right. Um, Rook. I feel like we're. I don't mean to go Justin Timberlake on this, but I think we're in sync. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'm retiring on that one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Let's see. What is this unrated? I don't want you to lose like a ton. Don't of worry about points. it. I lose rating points all the time. That's, that's literally right. what I do on shows. <laughs> uh... Your move, homie. Bishop. People really let me have it over that in sync joke. <laughs> As they should. I mean, let's let's be honest. Everyone loved in sync way back when. Everyone loved in sync. Yeah, everyone. Know, everyone was like I, ashamed to admit it, yeah. but like everyone loved in sync. Yeah, I still uh, know all the dance moves to bye bye bye. <laughs> let's. Go ahead. Mm. Let's go, Rook. Yeah, that's what I wanted to play, and I know you yeah. saw it. All right, I'm going to try to get this to you quicker, though, because we've been down a little bit on time. Yeah, we're getting down a little bit. Yeah, let's see. I can tell we're like significantly better with like me as the brain and you as the hand. Really? Me as the hand. It's, it's not even close. Oh, I, I, I haven't noticed. I mean, I like to hear that. Let's do that again. Is that normally a thing? If the lower rated player is the brain, because maybe the lower rated player. I don't know. I've never. I don't know. I've never played this game before. Actually, gotcha. you've never played this before. I've never played this before. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's play. Hmm. Let's play Rook. Yep. I assume if they, I assume we're doing pawn. Yep. Cut. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that's that is a decent move. Uh, Rook. Yeah, I didn't see knight takes h6. It's all right. Not the end of the world. King. Nice, nice. Hmm. We got this. We got this. Okay. All right. <laughs> This is going to be a tough one because there's several good options, but just trust yourself. Yeah. Okay. Rook. Not the rook move I had in mind, but that is probably better. Uh, yeah, we got to be careful. Yeah, yeah, no. Care is definitely needed here. Let's see. I guess I got to go. Yeah, I gotta go king. This is getting tough. Everyone, like, 
Even the chat is slowing down. Everyone can feel the tension in here. <laughs> it's, I mean, the tension between us is, uh, All right, uh, it's passionate. Let's say, let's say King. I like your instincts. I like yeah. your instincts. Let's not let that guy be a problem anymore. This will be an instructive one to look at, by the way. I think there's going to be some interesting moments to look at. Good, 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 good. Uh, okay, interesting. Let's go. Let's go knight. Again, defensive-minded, but I like it. I like it. All right, remember our time. Remember our time. Yeah, here. time. All right. Okay, let's go Rook. Like that. Yeah, this this isn't my favorite move. You wanted Rook A4, huh? No, I mean, uh, I shouldn't have said Rook in hindsight. Oh, oh okay. I don't think it was the best idea. Uh, okay, Rook. Yeah, it was not the best in hindsight. Sorry, right, it may work out. Because if he doesn't bring his knight back, we may have some other yeah. options. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. With the king. Very good. You know what you just did there? You just pulled the old Russian schoolboy tickle. You just tickled him. <laughs> Russian schoolboy tickle. The good kind. <laughs> this is... Uh, okay. Let's see. Look. I liked it. I loved it. Yeah. I wanted all of it. Mm -hmm. Good. We got uh, this. We got this. Actually, let's knight. I like it. Ooh. It's all right. Yeah, all right. King. We are all right. Okay, king. I, I almost moved instantly there. I forgot that we... I have to wait for you uh, to say. Rook. Pawn. He definitely should have brought his king out. That was in... Divoretsky just rolled over in his grave <laughs> right there. That was the worst move he could have played. He had to play king of three there. Yeah. Uh... There you go. There you go. Rook at Rook Endgames activity is key. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got good options now. Uh pawn. Not my favorite. No. I'm gonna my do apologies. this pawn. I'm gonna do this pawn to save us from that move. Okay. We, we really want that king to get in there. King. Hey, this is getting close. Uh, I see what you're getting at. Okay, king. I love it. That's what I wanted. Uh, now, now I see what you're getting at. King. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to let his... Now I see if we had played saying. the yeah. pawn move there, that would have been a really bad idea. Because mm. his king would have gotten to E2 and it slows down everything. Right. He's in big trouble now. Uh, hold on. Now I gotta make sure not to mess this up. Um, wait. How am I? Rook. Let's start with it. I like that. Yeah. Uh, King. I like it. I like it. This is so nerve wracking. I'm uh, uh, King. Yes. King. Yes. King. Uh, Rook. Okay, 
let's let's do the old Russian schoolboy gain time on the clock tickle. Right. All right, think about the move here. Okay. Uh, pawn. Yes. That yes. took some work, but yeah. Yes, I wanted you to see the transition there. The yeah. transition. Transition has some ambition. <laughs> <laughs> like King. The dorkiest friend you've ever had. Welcome to the show. All right, it's all on you, baby. Take us home. Beam me up, Scotty. Uh King. Wipe, away. Wipe away my tears after this one. King. Glad we're gaining that time on the clock. Uh, King. King. All right, now I gotta be careful here. You're all right. Pawn. Keep trusting. Yeah. King. I hope you know your rook endings. Hope you know the Lucina. Rook. Interesting. Uh, rook. Mm. This is very interesting. Hmm. Actually, I think we have to we have to give him that pawn in order to make it work. Rook. We have to give yeah. him that pawn in order to get the Lucina. Yep. Well, luckily for you, you pretty much just got to say Rook. Yeah, Rook. <laughs> yeah, now Rook. You're pretty much saying Rook until the cows come home. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> rook. <laughs> okay, I'll think about the next move. Uh, King. There you go. There you go, boy. Yeah. King. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. King. King. Once he checks King again, and then Rook. If you know what I'm talking about. Yep. You said King again, so I did it. Yeah, and I'm then cheating. you know when he checks Rook, if All he right. checks, which he yeah should. Oh man, that was the most amazing. Rook, like okay, I yeah. That was awesome. I'm telling you right now, the brains of a football player and the hands of a chess player um, have, have never before worked together so well. King, why is this is this dude trying to hustle us right now? He's just King. trying to flag us. I mean, there no, there's yeah. nothing here. King, yeah. You just got to keep saying the piece and I'll... Yeah, he's probably just trying to hustle. I'll convert this thing. Come on now, queen. Red Menace hung in there, though. Rook. That kid hung in there. Uh, Queen. Um, okay. Rook. Bell ringer. Go ahead, right. John. You ring the bell. You ring the bell. I don't have a bell. I got a bell here. Just reach through the screen and ring it. All right. You did it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that was an awesome game. Let's take a quick look at it because that was super yeah, instructive. That was that was some super interesting stuff. Red Menace, you played like a champion. Okay. 
Okay, not really. You lost, but <laughs> but you no, played, he, well. He played really no, well. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I just like to, I just like to have fun. Um, no, seriously, that was a good game. That was a very good game. Let's jump to the end because it's super. I think it's most instructive in the end here. So, um, for everybody who was just following the game, one of the funny things, if we go to this position here. As soon as he brought the rook closer, you said rook, so I had no choice. But moving the king was instantly winning in this one, in this position, before he got to the A file. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. It, it, this, it's actually less important because this is that's a blunder by him. The, the, the more instructive thing is seeing how the Lucina wins, but I did want to point that out. Secondly, you were saying rook till the cows came home, which was good. And I actually made the mistake here by, by rook d7 because I failed to realize at this moment that we had to sack the d-pawn to win. Then I realized yep. it and went went to sack the d-pawn. And the reason why that was necessary is because we have to force this king away from the d-file so that our yep. king actually has an escape square, right? So that's why we did that, everybody. Now when the rook comes to the fifth rank, the king is busted. If he moves toward the pawn, you simply move here, and now the rook has no more checks uh, because the king is an umbrella and, and, and black just wins. That's why the Lucene is a forced win. White has to move the king away, and the rook, already being ideally placed on the fifth rank, is in perfect position to deal with checks. So the process of bringing the king out is straightforward, and eventually white loses because, because black blocks the check. So this method, the bridge technique of the king and rook providing the bridge of protection for the pawn, is one that if you don't know it, one, you just saw it live, and two, there was nothing else white could do. It's just a forced technical win you got to know it for rook ending theory and as, john you learned firsthand the thing the grandmasters always say the reason why you want to know those rook ending theory positions is not just so you can like brag oh i i know the lucina but as you see in a real game it's hard even even for me i didn't recognize it right away right i didn't realize yeah. i had to go to lucina in a real game when you have no time on the clock knowing something when there's no pressure versus mm -hmm. knowing something when you're living off the increment is two different levels of memorization right I mean, knowing something when you have zero time on the clock is a totally different experience, and that's what you did here. So, first of all, I just I'm so proud of you. Like I said, amazing. Okay, now let's back Hold up. On. I just have to say, I just found the best comment. Yeah. In the comments. Okay. This is comment of the day. Okay. The key to success is learning how to find the orthogonal projection onto a subspace. FM, Jalen Dow, you're the man. Okay, that was obviously some math language I blocked out the moment you said projecting space. I respect it. Yeah, no, that was awesome. Uh, Dorado99 says, I missed that Lucina right away because I suck. Thank you. No, that's actually not true. I just, you know, you, you, have, to, you have to know. Ooh. No, but seriously, jokes aside, you have to know the transition is more important often than the end game currently in front of you. So that's why we learn all these technical positions and we add them to the database of knowledge is so that when in a practical game, you're making decisions based on pattern recognition. You're not calculating 20 moves ahead. You have to make them based on how you're guiding the position because we're not computers. So so that's really cool. This, this moment here, I want to go to John because you, you started rocking it and then you said pawn on this, on this move. You're still following me, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, yay, uh, Duradolo got a shout out for insulting me. That's great, right? That's what we're here for. Um, the um, dude, also no, I've been getting straight insults too, so it's all. Oh, around. dude, I uh, I literally I, I literally engage in the Twitch chat to get insulted. There's very rarely <laughs> compliments, so I don't don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> The uh, Okay, so you said pawn. The reason I played f5, everybody, and was worried about John's approach is because what I wanted him to say here was king, right? When the king starts coming in, we're combining yeah. the advantage of the pass pawn no, with the mating net on this king, right? So if he starts mm -hmm. doing crazy stuff, this position is just, you know, we're getting, we're getting into a super dangerous position here for him. Um, it would have been even better this way because this way I could have gone here and then maybe we could have gobbled up these pawns and we wouldn't have had to lose our pawns, right? Right. But when you said pawn here, I didn't want to play d2 and let him go here, and suddenly the tables are turned, and I don't even know. I, okay, certainly black is never worse here, but I don't know that we can win gotcha. this endgame anymore. Mm -hmm. So I sacked that pawn to get the king in, and that's how we got our mating net. But here, from here on out, I mean, seriously, you were just, you were rocking. We converted the endgame. The other critical moment I wanted to back up to was, mm -hmm. was right here, where I feel like I led us astray. You said pawn. And I played so, D5. 
I actually had D5 in mind, so no. I was wrong. As well. well, I know, but I but I also, I, as soon as I played D5, I regretted it because I instantly realized, one, I'm not actually winning this pawn. And you mm -hmm. guys, a good lesson for all the members in the chat here. If you're not actually winning your opponent's weakest pawn, you never want to trade it. Like, you either win that baby outright or you have not done your job properly. That's Karpov chess, right? So as soon as I played D5... I saw the pin like you did. I saw why the reason you suggested it is you said, oh, he can't take it. We win a rook, right? That's what you saw. But as soon as I played d5, I didn't like our position after knight to b3, and I realized we had gone wrong. You know what I mean, John? Mm -hmm. So the better move here, I think, is f5, and suddenly we own all these squares. At least, at least the better move when you say pawn. I think the mm -hmm. best move overall is probably actually knight h4. Breaking a little bit of a knight on the rim is grim thing, but we hit g2, we threaten to come into f5, and guess where we're going from there? d6. I think that, I think knight h4 might actually be the best move here. Gotcha. Nice. I don't know. I mean, okay, if he plays no, I mean, that, like, that wasn't, that's sort of a problem. I, that wasn't even on my radar. I don't, I, I mean, it's more on my radar now that we're analyzing it. I did see that idea. Again, when he played here, you heard me. I wanted to take here, because if he takes with either minor piece, we have d5, and we're winning the pawn. But that wouldn't have worked, because he could take with the rook. So that was unfortunate. Yeah. As far as the Nimzo goes, bro, dude, you rocked it, okay? I loved when you forced the endgame. I knew you wanted that endgame. That was adorable. You can also you can also not go for the endgame. I wonder yeah. if this check works, by the way. Because if they play b4, can I just can I just go here? Hello. Hold on, go back. But what if uh, just cool. bishop d2? Okay, if they play bishop d2, now there's no double pawns. We slide the queen over to some dominant square. I don't know. I mean, gotcha. it seems okay. pretty good for us, right? Mm -hmm. No, you're right. So you said pawn. I think queen a5 is is pretty nasty. Gotcha. Again. If they play b4 and you play knight takes, they can't play bishop d2 now because you get knight c2 check and queen a4, and this is just lights out. Um, I was only calculating this quickly, but uh, pretty sure I was right. Yeah, and if they take here one, we might already have some sort of nasty discovered double check. I don't know. But even if we just take back, we're probably fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was the only other thing I wanted to point out. Overall, classy Nimzo, your opponent playing bishop to g5, and letting you take here to, to kind of ruin their center was really a mistake by them. Everything up to here was theory. White has White is either supposed to play e3 or just take the pawn. Gotcha. That's how this should go. And then there's moves like knight e4 and all kinds of shenanigans in the Nimzo. Fun stuff, <laughs> right? Interesting, yeah. And I, I do need to learn a little bit more about, like, openings and, like, resulting middle game ideas so i'm well, working on I, it. I feel like these games are going to be really useful for that and i honestly think this might have been i mean can you feel the chemistry between us right now can you feel oh this? i felt it can you feel the passion it was real i mean there's a tension between us that is that is intimate it's undeniable it's undeniable no honestly this was as much fun as i've had on the amateur hour. we have to do the hand and brain again oh absolutely also can i tell the people in the chat that you know what we were talking about yeah, go for it. Yeah, so I'm actually going to start being more of a regular on Amateur Hour. We're going to try to get it going just about every week. You know, some weeks maybe I can't make it and Danny does it with someone else, or maybe some weeks Danny can't make it and I do it with someone else. Yeah, maybe but maybe gonna, maybe Robert Hess, our, our other buddy. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but as John... Bobby Hess. I mean, John has a career ahead of him as a retired NFL player. He is... But you guys don't know this. He's in Cambridge right now. He's getting his yeah. PhD from MIT. So I don't know if you've heard, but MIT is kind of a big deal. So John, John has a pretty awesome second career ahead of him, but part of that second career is likely going to become a chess streamer on chess.com. I mean, right? Seems that way. Yeah, I mean, chess, chess we're like a chess.com family now. No, we are. Reason. It's it's again. Well, it's, yeah, it's, you and I as well. There's been a lot of shouts. There's a lot of shouts in the Twitch chat about the energy between us being palpable. Telling Danny to get a room, all that stuff. Let's just say it's purely platonic, but it doesn't mean it's not there. Okay. There. All right, buddy. Seriously though, great fun. This was a lot of fun, everybody. Um, 
You can, uh, you can send a friend request to Winston297. We will be changing his username to John Urschel pretty soon. So, um, so are you going to take this one and change it to John Urschel? You and I can figure out what we want. If, you, if everyone already right, knows perfect. Winston297, probably better to just change that. So then you can have a secret name. We'll make another time, right? Gotcha. Um, okay, cool. And then, uh, anyway, but going to be a lot of fun. Get back to writing those equations behind you. I know you just wrote a bunch of gibberish on the wall to impress me. So whatever. But it worked. It worked. Okay. Seriously, did that that I mean, did you just come up with that? I mean, I that says eight times seven, John. I can see right through you drawing that equation. It's obviously eight times eight times seven is fifty six. Wait, sixty three. No, it's sixty. No, fifty six. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, I don't have a secret name. I just have multiple accounts. I have a username called Danny Danny Wrench Daniel Wrench. And the list goes on. Very creative. Um, all right. Unfortunately, I have to be out. Or this show, we need to make this show two hours. I have to be out today because I got to go pick up my son. So not John's fault. It's my fault. I'm already ten minutes late. Not but sure. we will uh, we will continue to build on this because right now, you know, I think as soon as we started saying we were going to quit, we were about at 600 viewers, and I think uh, I think probably people would stick around. I think this format seems to be enjoyable, and uh, I'll see you. Well, I see you next week. I think I'll see you next week. Yeah, I'm here next week. Uh, te teach me how to do this stuff on my own in case you can't make it one week and yep. we'll be able to make it a regular weekly thing. I'm not telling you guys who Dan Cre who Tancredi is, okay? But I will say this. The chess bras may have an idea of who he is now at this point. They're getting closer. So, um, all right, everybody. Thanks for being here. John and I are out, and we will talk to you later. Later, guys.